For over a century, military aircrafts have dominated battles from the skies. Striking at incredible speeds, reaching impregnable territories, lethal to the very core. The modern-day fighter jet is one of the most destructive weapons in the theatre of war. To reduce dependence on foreign suppliers, it was imperative for India to build a combat aircraft indigenously. See, the spirit that when there are adverse conditions, that we must make it happen. I think that spirit what you see there was what pervaded the whole team. And people forgot from which organization they came, from where they came. The only goal was must fly this aircraft, make it safe. For January 2001, the air is heavy with a mixture of anticipation and anxiety at the Bangalore airport. After 18 years of rigorous development by DRDO and less than 8 years after project sanction, India's first indigenous light combat aircraft, Tejas, stands on the tarmac for its ultimate test. For January 2001, the Bangalore airport is abuzz with excitement. India's long-awaited dream project has taken center stage as DRDO rolls out India's first indigenous light combat aircraft for test flight. The country's top leaders and decision makers wait eagerly. The nation's aviation industry has held its breath as their hopes and ambitions will also take flight with the success of Tejas. At 10.18 a.m., they just took off with Wing Commander Rajiv Kotyal in the cockpit. Everyone held their breath as they waited for the aircraft to safely complete its first aerial experience. The trial was an outright success. The prototype managed a near-perfect test flight and marked the beginning of a new era in Indian aviation. When the aircraft really flew, the people who are feeling that it is impossible to do this work, there is a change. Change took some time for them to realize that we are no longer the people who cannot do, we are the people who can do. The Tejas design has been configured to fulfill the demands of modern combat scenarios. It is the smallest multi-role tactical warplane in the world. The Delta Wing design of Tejas gives the aircraft stealth capabilities and makes it extremely agile. The warplane integrates modern design concepts like static instability for quick maneuvers and a digital fly-by-wire system for efficient flight control. Integrated avionics of the aircraft provide the pilot with accurate information during the flight, which is digitally displayed on a glass cockpit. An elite squadron of test pilots conduct the final trials of every Tejas at this center. They define the aircraft's operational capabilities and behavioral patterns in various test conditions. We have a team of the pilots, about six of them, sitting with us for the last 15 years. And I call them the highest level of designers. Because of their operational experience, they keep telling us how the aircraft has to be pilot friendly and we have a terminology pilot vehicle interface the continuous interactions with them all the switches in the cockpit all the symbols that we see on the displays are all totally decided by them
Tejas has eight weapon stations that offer flexibility in the choice of firepower the fighter can carry in various mission roles to extend the fighter's flight endurance for demanding missions. Provisions of drop tanks were made to carry additional fuel. Tejas is also equipped with in-flight refueling facilities for mid-air fuel refills. The flexible architecture of the aircraft allows the users to change its weapons on demand.
See, Tejas helped you not only to build a front-ranking fighter, it also brought a lot of new technologies, new infrastructure, trained thousands of people. And as a result, not only you have a fighter, but you have an a ecosystem in the country where new technologies, high technologies, is no longer something you are unaware. And today India has become a major center for engineering services in aviation. And without Tejas, it wouldn't have been possible.